So, PG, we, we talked earlier about a gyro project that we've got on the go. We Here on board the Caribbean 40, which is used for a bit of sport fishing, does a bit of tournament work. And Beautiful. As, as we know, when we go out many days, it can be a bit sloppy. And for those of us less seasoned, it can be uncomfortable. Well, yeah, look, I mean, the, the thing about gyroscopic stabilizers, a lot of people think that they're, um, you know, they're a bit of an overkill, you don't need it or whatever. And look, like you, I, I, I've grown up on boats, grown up sailing. I don't get, I'm lucky enough not to get seasick. But I've only ever had one experience where I have been seasick, and you honestly would rather die than stay on the boat. So obviously, when, when uh, this, this particular owner goes fishing, he might take his family, he might take his kids, he might take mates or whatever. And you want to go out there and have a nice day so, uh, chasing marlin, doing whatever you were, bottom bouncing, whatever it is that you want to do. And this is uh, a, a, a gyroscopic stabilizer is a game changer for this type of vessel in that type of application. You're sitting above where it's going to be fitted, aren't you? Well, this is a classic example, uh, as we were saying before, about the convenience of coming to Gold Coast City Marina, where you have stainless fabrication, electrical, architectural, ship riding service. Um, this particular stainless plate was designed locally. It was manufactured by uh, Wicked Stainless, just just up a Wicked Fabrication, just up the road, and then was installed into this vessel by Troy Dibbon, the local shipwright. And you can see the the positioning of this plate is central between between the engines in a in the engine room in under the floor here. It's a beautiful installation. You can see the plate is perfectly level. And what will happen next is that a, a crane will arrive in the next few days and will crane the the gyro into position through the aft doors and straight down the hatch. I mean, the great advantage of the quick gyros uh, is that they're air cooled. So there's you can see there's no requirement for additional plumbing to run water cooling to the machine. Also, they're very compact. It's only 590 by 590, so it fits neatly through this, through the door, and straight into the boat. And yeah, it's a very simple, very clean install, and it's going to revolutionize the way that this boat handles. I mean, at 18,700 newton meters of anti-roll torque, this boat will be very, very comfortable, even in very, very significant seaway. That means that the owner of this boat can take his friends, take his kids, take his elderly parents, whatever it may be, out for a day's fishing with no problem in the world. And, and I guess what size boats are you seeing in the market here in Australia that are fitting uh, the gyros? Well, our range, uh, the quick Italian-made quick gyro stabilizers have the smallest gyro in the world, which is the X2 model. It's only 42 centimetres square and only weighs 130 kilos. And it puts out enough anti-roll torque between the X2 and the X3, which are both physically the same size, for boats up to 30 feet. So, so we're doing you... boats from... Would you see that in trailer boats? Uh, look, we've sold about 30 in trailer boats already of yeah. that specific size of, of gyro. You're talking boats as small as 23 feet fitting a gyroscopic stabilizer. And then at the other end of the uh, range, the, the 13 models in the range, is the X75 with 75,000 newton meters of torque. And that'll comfortably do a boat up to about 100 feet on its own. And also with our gyros, because they're, um, they're air cooled, not water cooled, um, you can, it's easy to malt, use two, three, or four in a row and boost output torque. So you can handle a 120-foot or 150-foot vessel by using two or three of the X75. Our machines are tendentially very, very compact, and the fact that they don't have water cooling means that they can put pretty much anywhere in the vessel, as long as you've got, obviously, structure to bolt it to, because don't forget that these things are fighting your vessel, trying to make sure that it stays flat. So you need proper structure mm -hmm. to hold it to the boat. Yeah, that's good. Well, yeah, that's good. Well... We look forward to seeing the crane here in a couple of days. Get that gyro fitted and another happy and, customer. And kiss, kiss, kiss another one goodbye and send it down the, send it down the river. Another happy customer. Fabulous. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for your time. You.